Welcome, Welcome to, to a couple, couple of monkeys. In a previous live stream, I went ahead and designed this ping pong paddle racket. Once the drawings were complete, my father and Tim went to work. They started with resawing the boards and then they planed them down to desired thickness. After I got done planing, I went ahead and used a scroll saw in order to cut the shape out of the maple. After we get it cut out, we go ahead and take it to the sander and sand around all of the edges, making sure to get any areas that might have been burnt. I continue to sand it up until the line on the template. While Tim is sanding, don't forget to hit the like button. Please subscribe and ring that bell icon so you get notified for the future videos. You can also buy us a coffee at buymeacoffee.com. Just look up Bunkies Woodworking. Just $3 to buy us a coffee or for $5 a month, you can join our Walnut membership where you can get unseen, unknown, special content. Will we share a video of Baba completely making fun of us on the ping pong table? Possibly. So initially, I was going to use this paduke that I had already kind of cut to the right size. But Baba took out a piece of walnut that looked really nice. And we decided to go ahead and make the handle out of walnut. So we started off by resawing the piece of walnut to the size that I wanted. Then I sanded it down nice and smooth and flat. Then I took rough dimensions of the handle and went ahead and cut a little bit wider than what I needed for the paddle handle. Then I cut the dimensions lengthways. Then I took the grip to the sander and gave it more of an ergonomic feel. The handles were small and kind of hard to hold. I'm thinking that if you were going to mass produce these, you would probably have a jig so you, it would give you enough room to hold on to it while you're uh, sanding it to the right grip. Now after gluing the handle and letting it dry, I went ahead and went over everything with the sander one last time, even going over it with a palm sander. And then I had to repeat this process four more times. I had a hard time applying the rubbers to the table tennis racket, so we ended up taking it to American Table Tennis in Southfield, Michigan. We ended up buying all of our rubbers there, and the owner attached the rubbers to the rackets for us. It was definitely worth it to take this to a professional. We ended up surprising my father with his ping pong table as an early Father's Day gift. <laughs> oh, oh. oh. I'm trying to control it um, so it falls on the table. Yeah. We might need to invite somebody over in order to give Baba a little better competition. We hope you enjoyed this video and happy Father's Day.